As Americans get ready for the holiday rush, AAA is forecasting more than 109 million will travel for Christmas and New Year's, with more than 6 million of them taking to the skies. So the big question for the airlines, are they ready? Our transportation correspondent, Gio Benitez, has more as the CEOs of the major airlines will testify before Congress today. Good morning, Gio. Hey, Robin, good morning to you. Yeah, those airline CEOs in just a few hours will be getting in the hot seat before Congress, and they will be grilled about how they spent the billions of dollars in federal bailout money. With images like these, stranded passengers at American airports with hundreds of canceled flights and extra long hold times for customer service, Congress wants to know how airline CEOs spent a $54 billion bailout. They overscheduled. They were over too aggressive in scheduling more flights than they had pilots and flight attendants ready to staff. They weren't prepared to deal with the onslaught of passengers. In prepared remarks, American Airlines CEO Doug Parker will tell Congress the payroll support program saved the airline industry by providing a lifeline for its workers. But critics say it and the other major airlines should have done better with that lifeline. Were the problems we saw unavoidable or is this just bad planning? I think it's a combination of bad planning and not really uh, focusing on where to cut people. Um, uh, and I think that the airlines are going to have to answer and, and be truthful in how they answer questions about how they planned and why they weren't better prepared for the travel recovery. So with 6 million people expected to travel by air for the holidays, are the airlines prepared now? The airlines tell ABC News they've hired and retrained tens of thousands of employees, but analysts say it's not smooth sailing yet. If you're traveling for the holidays, what should you keep in mind? There's less wiggle room in the system, if you will. Airlines are selling all the seats they can, and when they do, that means there are fewer empty seats available if something goes wrong. Keep an eye on your scheduled flight so you can be the first to make changes if you have to. And plan early for things like airport parking. It's running low, so airports suggest reserving your spot online. And you may want to get TSA PreCheck or even a free trial for Clear. That's a program to get through TSA lines faster. In fact, some airports like Newark and Seattle, they're actually letting you reserve a spot in the TSA line before you even get to the airport, guys. What, 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 that? <laughs> how, do you, how do you go about reserving that spot? That's the first we're hearing of it. Get online, get online. It's right on the airport website. All right, you thank you. Thank you for that, Gio. Wonder yeah. why those people be cutting you. I ain't cutting a lot. <laughs> yeah, we no. reserved our spot, That's buddy. right. Good to know. You heard it here. <laughs> yeah, great news. Gio was always giving us something mm -hmm. new and good. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.